this video, we're going to be uh, practicing our basic math skills that involve decimals and fractions. So I know you're super excited to do this problem. Let me go ahead and read this to you. It says uh, 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. So what is the best way to answer this question? And let's throw in uh, an additional thing. We're going to put our calculators away. So no calculators. So first of all, we need to recognize that we're dealing with uh, decimals and fractions, right? So this right here is 3 tenths. Okay, now if you just kind of say this outside, outside, not outside, we could say it outside if you want, but to out loud is what I meant to say, uh, 3 tenths. What does that sound like? Does that sound like a fraction or a decimal? Well, actually, you can think of it in both ways, right? You could write 3 tenths as a decimal or you could write it as a fraction. But how about 2 fifths? Okay, well, 2 fifths you're probably gonna think of this as a fraction. So we need to make a um, decision here. Are we gonna work with decimals or fractions? Now, we can we convert a fraction to a decimal? Of course we could, right? So we have to make a decision on how we're going to work. So here, again, we have 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. Now, let's suppose you thought of 3 tenths as a uh, decimal. So 3 tenths as a decimal is 0.3. So in other words, if I said, write this uh, decimal 0.3, write it as words, right? You would write three tenths because the three is in the tenths place, okay? Again, this goes to place value. This is the stuff that we learned way back in elementary school and middle school that probably most of us uh, tend to forget because we work with calculators all the time. But 0.3 is what we would say three tenths, okay? Now, you can write that as a fraction. I'll show you that in a second. And that's going to be divided by 2 fifths, okay? So 2 fifths, you can write as a fraction 2 over 5, okay? So we could think of this problem uh, as 0.3 divided by uh, 2 fifths or um, 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. But again, if we're not using our calculator, we need we really want to work all in either in all decimals or all fractions, okay? Now, this approach right here, I don't think is the easiest approach, okay? And let me go ahead and show you what I think is the better approach approach to do this problem uh, is to write this all as one fraction problem. So 3 tenths is also the fraction 3 over 10. Okay, so 3 tenths, we can express this this way, 3 over 10. And if you were going to, uh, you're going to your calculator and take 3 and divide it by 10, you would end up with that decimal 0.3, okay, or 3 tenths. This is 3 tenths as well, right? So don't be confused with that. Just remember there is a relationship between decimals and fractions and, of course, place value. All right, so we have 3 tenths divided by, so here is that division symbol, by 2 fifths. All right, so really what we're doing here is um, translating a verbal math problem into an actual math problem with numbers. Okay, so we had some choices whether we're going to work with decimals and fractions. So I'm going to suggest that you work all with fractions. Okay, so this is the problem that we're going to do. So 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. How do you do this problem? Well, uh, let's go through the solution right now. Okay, so the first thing is when you're dealing with fractions and you see um, division, before you learn how to do division of fractions, you need to know how to multiply fractions because what we're going to do is change this division problem into a multiplication problem, okay? So anytime you see division of fractions, what you're going to end up doing is actually turning this into a multiplication uh, problem, and there is a little bit of a step that we have to um, take in order to do that. So let's go ahead and see this right now. Okay, so here we have 3 tenths divided by 2 fifths. So this is a division problem right here. What we're going to do is change this into multiplication, okay? So how do we do that? Well, what we do is we take the fraction to the right of the division symbol. So here's the division symbol. This is the fraction to the right, and we're going to flip it upside down, okay? That's called the reciprocal. So here we have 2 fifths. We're going to flip it upside down. That's 5 over 2, okay? But when we flip it upside down, we get to change this division operator to multiplication, okay? So just make sure you understand, we're going from division to multiplication, and the way we do that is to flip the fraction that's to the right of the division symbol, okay? Never the one to the front. That one stays the same. The one to the right, we're going to flip it upside down. 
Okay, so now uh, what we have is an equivalent problem. If we figure this out, it's the same thing as doing this. So now we have to answer this question, 3 over 10 uh, times 5 halves. Okay, and, and this is actually quite easy. So let's uh, talk about how to multiply fractions. So when you're multiplying fractions, all you need to do is simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. You're just going to multiply across. So 3 tenths times 5 over 2 is going to be 3 times 5. Okay, again, we're, the, the numerators are the top numbers of the fraction, right? So we're just multiplying across. So uh, 3 over 10 times 5 over 2 is 3 times 5. We'll figure this out. And then 10 times 2 will be our uh, denominator. All right, so I'm just taking it nice and slow here for those of you that might be a little bit rusty on fractions. So let's go ahead and clean this up. So 3 times 5 over 10 times 2. Most of you can see what the answer is going to be. So 3 times 5, of course, is 15. 10 times 2 is 20. Now, let's suppose you stopped right there and you said uh, this was your final answer. Well, actually, you did pretty good if, in fact, this is what you got. But here is the deal. Anytime you're working with... Um, fractions or anything in mathematics, you always want to write uh, your answer in simplest uh, terms, okay? So when you're, uh, you know, working with fractions, you always want to reduce or simplify your fraction. So here, you can see that 5 goes into 15 three times, and 5 goes into 20 four times. So 3 fourths is that fraction simplified. Now, let's uh, see this in action a little bit uh, more here, 15 over 20. You can actually notice right here before you when you have a multiplication um, or so when you're multiplying fractions and you have the factors right here this would be a great opportunity for you to simplify or reduce this problem uh, before doing all this multiplication so this is what i mean so here is three times five and this is ten times two this is called cross canceling notice this five goes into this ten how many times well it goes into it two times so we could cross cancel this five and this ten and we could put a 2 there. So when we um, do this multiplication, what's going to be left? 2 times 2, which of course is 4. And then here we have a 3 in the numerator. But uh, let's go ahead and look at this um, uh, differently here, just so you understand. I'm kind of taking an extra step because um, I really want you uh, to make sure you understand how to simplify a uh, fraction. So here we have 3 times 5. This is 10 times 2. Let's write 10, remember there was a 10 here, let's write that as 2 times 5, okay? So 2 times 5, we'll actually write it this way. So here's all the factors. Now we just cross cancel um, uh, like factors one for one, okay? So if you see a 5 up here in the numerator, you look down in the denominator, oh, I got a 5, we can cross cancel that. So uh, there's no more uh, like factors between the numerator and denominator. So that leaves us with a 3 and a 2 and a 2 down here. So 2 times 2 is 4 and then just a three in the numerator. Okay, so again, you know, when it comes to doing basic math problems, especially when it comes to working with fractions and decimals, there's different approaches you can take, okay? I'm gonna suggest that you get really comfortable working with fractions as you need to be in, uh, an expert uh, with fractions to be successful in algebra and beyond, okay? So if you have fraction phobia, which is, um, uh, the fear of fractions. Yeah, you just all you need to do is just get some good, clear instruction and practice. You can actually turn around your fraction uh, phobia. You can uh, solve that problem uh, that you may have in a, a, a day or two. Okay, but it just takes commitment. So let me give you some suggestions here. Um, one, I have a, a ton of additional uh, videos on fractions and decimals on my YouTube channel, but my best instruction is going to be in one or two um, uh, courses. You can find a link to both of these courses in the description. My Math Foundations course, I go over all that place value stuff. That's really important. A lot of people confuse that or are, are confused with place value, but I go over that in fractions, and that's a great little mini course. So Math Foundations course or my pre-algebra course, I go over uh, fractions um, as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.